Hello guys, in this video we'll talk about this keyword. Now to understand this keyword, let's create a class here and we'll name this class as A. And uh, let's say in this A class, I have a variable called as X. Okay. And I have a method which is public void show, which will print the value of X. So let's print it. So we'll say X is and then let's say X. Now to print this value, first you have to assign value to x and uh, we have this x variable as private. So the only way to access this variable x is through some method, right? And whenever you say you want to access a variable through methods, we basically use setters and getters, right? So let's say, uh, I'm not using getter setter here, let me use a constructor to assign value. So I will create a constructor which is public A, which accepts a number or a value. So let's say this is a variable A. And then this variable A will be assigned to a variable X. So the value of A will be assigned to value of X or to the variable X. Simple, right? And then to assign those values, first you have to create object of A that's here and then and then let's, oh, what's the error? What something? Oh, so I have a constructor which takes a parameter. So let's pass six. And then I will say obj dot, nothing, obj dot show. obj dot show. Okay, yeah. So now if I say, if I run this code, you can see the output of this, it should be x is six. Simple, right? Now let's add some twist. What if the value of x or the variable a becomes variable x and then we have to say this is x. Uh, if you just go back. Okay, so let's make it a now again. So you can see the uh, color of this a. So if you see the color of a, it is black. Okay, and the color of x is green. It's because this x here it will be called as instance variable and this a here will be called as local variable so basically we have three types of variables we have instance variable we have local variable and we have class variable so instance is a variable which 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 is in the class outside a method local is the variable which is inside the method or which is declared inside the method and class variable is something which is uh, which is de in defined inside a class, but it's a static variable. Okay, let's, let's, let's talk about local instance. So you can see the color of local instance is black and color of instance variable is green. So now if I make this A as X and if I make this as A as X, so you can see this X or this X is your, is your instance variable, which is green and this X is local and is black. But if you focus on these two variables, so this x need to be a instant variable and this is your local variable. But unfortunately, this also becomes black. You can see that this is also a local variable. So we are fetching a value from a local variable, which is here. We assign the same value to the local variable, which is x here. We are not assigning that value to this variable. And that's why when you run this code, the value of x will be zero, even if you are assigning a value six, because this value six is assigned to the local variable itself. We are not able to assign this to an instance variable. And to do that, we have to mention that this x is not a local variable. This x is the instance variable. In order to use the instance, so we have to use something called as this. Now this represents the current instance. So it is a current instance. Now just to make you understand what is current instance, so people normally say this is the object of a class. Of course, this is the object of a class, but the problem is if your class has five objects, okay, and five instances, and every instance have a different value of x, okay? So we cannot say it's just an object, is that current instance so if you have five instance at a point you'll be you'll be focusing on one instance this is that one instance so let's say you're working with the fourth instance so this will represent that fourth instance 
okay so this is not just an object it's a current instance cool so yeah that's how you work with this keyword so that's it thank you for watching and do subscribe for for the videos